Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Please turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you all. As South Africans we are all completely apprehensive that economic freedom fighters, EFF, Commander-in-Chief Julius Molina, has putatively made it his charge to fight against racist white people in South Africa and across the African mainland, but supposedly Julius Molina is allegedly intimately veritably close with a lot of the white people that he pretends to be fighting against. And history. Friday, 15 April, a popular Twitter stoner and Operation Dujula member took to Twitter to shoot a warning to South Africans about Julius Molina, as he indicted Julius Molina of trying to separate black South Africans with white South Africans while he is busy doing business with them. Just look at what the Twitter stoner said. Julius Molina's stay in Akshirp secured high walls electric fan securities girdled by whites people. He does businesses with whites people. His children attend white schooling. Well he is busy trying to separate us black South Africans with white South Africans. Be apprehensive. Again, the economic freedom fighters, EFF, are pan-Africanist leftism leaning political party in South Africa. Former, ANC, African National Congress Youth League President Julius Molina, together with his close musketeers, created the association in 2013. Because the EFF political party was an adversary of the ANC government, it grew fleetly in a short period of time. Julius Sel Molina, the EFF's chairman, has done an excellent job of raising his party to the point where other ANC members have left the government to join the EFF unfortunately. We've learned that another prominent EFF member, Mr. M. M. Matsietsa, will be stepping down effective April 9, 2022. As a member of the EFF political party, Mr. M. M. Matsietsa was a member of the party since its commencement in 2013. A representative of the M. M. Risk and Security Company has verified to the EFF that it has been furnishing services to the group without entering any compensation. Over five top EFF members abnegated in 2022, and further adoptions are anticipated by the end of the time. Please check the screenshot below for farther information on Wimmer. M. M. Matsietsa is relinquishing from the EFF. The EFF is going to lose further members because they're prioritizing illegal non-natives over South African natives right now, which is a form of own thing. The EFF may fall in the pates in 2024, because no other South Africans will bounce for them, and only a small number of people will bounce for them at all. No bone will be transferred back to their home countries while Julius Molina is still alive because he says illegal non-natives should be treated the same as South African residers. Julius Selo Molina is losing further votes because of this. 